different sources. So first is aggregating and structuring data. So as I said that before analysis, it is very important for you to collect the data from various sources. So what kind of various sources are available? So various platform, which is Google Analytics, HubSpot, SCMrush, MailChimp. These are majorly, you know, companies and uh, these are the tools that I'm going to discuss is more. Uh, these are uh, commonly used for aggregating and structuring kind uh, of your data. Then conducting analysis. So platforms like Google Analytics, HubSpot, Sprout Spatial, and uh, Datorama uh, offer built-in analysis tool to derive the insights. Algor advanced algorithms uh, are used, uh, that is AI uh, and nowadays LLM, which is large uh, language model. These, these are being used to identify the patterns in large data uh, sets. Manual analysis, yes, previously we were doing and uh, till today it is very, very uh, helpful. Uh, if we have a small amount of data, definitely we can go uh, with the Excel or statistical software. But if we have a huge amount of data and that uh, data is also unstructured, like in the form of text or video, or if it is coming from our signals, then of course we are not able to uh, do it uh, traditionally or conventionally. We can go with the AI algorithms. Then comes the continuous improvement. And once we know what kind of uh, data, what are the traits, then ought, of course we can, you know, uh, change it. We can integrate uh, this kind of trends with machine learning or AI technologies and we can for, uh, do predictive analytics and we can develop some kind of future strategies. Now, uh, if we talk about the examples, I already uh, have already shown you that uh, which tools are being now are used. One is the aggregating and structuring uh, Google Analytics, which is free also. And if your company has this Google Analytics page, of course, you are able to uh, check the data about your website traffic, user behavior, conversation, and uh, it aggregates this data into customizable reports. It also helps you in allowing marketers to analyze website performance, their demographics, traffic sources, from where uh, you know data is coming. Uh, now, uh, if you uh, want to move further and do want to do conduct. Uh, analysis then uh, we are offering tools to track marketing campaign lead generation and customer engagement hubspot uh, that uh, also uh, you know uh, you can analyze email performance social media interaction and lead conversion rate to optimize their strategy sprout social which is uh, actually providing you with the social media analytics to measure the engagement audience demographic and campaign effectively across multiple platforms so so this is again uh, you nowadays a lot of social media platforms are there and you, you want to focus upon you know if we are going to focus on different different then of course it is taking a lot of time so if one uh, platform can manage multiple plat, uh, you know multi across multiple programs if uh, one uh, uh, particular uh, platform can help us then definitely we will uh, go with that so marketers can identify top performing content monitor brand mentions and track followers growth you, as I said, you can go with the Microsoft Excel to analyze your importing data sets and performing, uh, you know, calculations, sorting and filtering. And they can create pivot table charts and grab to visualize trend, compare matrix and identify patterns in marketing data. Then comes the continuous improvement. So uh, now uh, latest one is uh, Datorama, which uses AI powered analytics to analyze large data sets. And uh, that also help us to uncover, uh, you know, various actionable insights and predict future trends. So marketers can leverage machine learning algorithm to optimize and target personalized content and forecast customer behavior as well. Now, uh, moving ahead and uh, now let us talk about what are the various tools and technologies in marketing analytics. So, uh, marketing analytics, we already know it is a process of collecting, analyzing and interpreting data to get the insights uh, into the marketing performance, consumer behavior and market trends. Now, what kind of uh, tools and uh, techniques that we can uh, utilize uh, to, you know, make it more effective, to make our uh, strategies more effective? One is CRM and DMP system. So, this, uh, that is uh, customer relationship management and data management platform. The these are central repositories for organizing and managing customer data and CRM focuses on customer interactions and sales lead while DMP aggregate data from various sources for audience segmentation and targeting. Now uh, if you see the uh, features 
So uh, centralizing customer data across multiple touch points, segmenting customer based on demographic behavior and preferences and personalizing the customer campaign and messaging. So uh, if you see these are the marketing so companies have already uh, developed or established their crm uh, uh, you know tools and uh, most of the if you have listened most of the companies uh, says that we have sales for crm or hubspot crm uh, if we are talk about the dmp then adobe has a, a audience manager so adobe audience manager which is a very popular dmp is also there now another uh, you know tool if we talk about that is web analytics tool uh, where we are talking about you know uh, the, the google analytics i have already discussed with you and the purpose we have already discussed that uh, if we want to uh, talk about or we want to get the insights about the website traffic user behavior conversion metrics we want to track and analyze the visitor interaction or we want to see that uh, what kind of uh, website performance from where are uh, you know uh, different uh, customers are coming which location from they are coming we want want to track the KPIs which is key performance indicator we want to see page views we want to see bounce rates and how conversion is happening or uh, we want to see the referral sources uh, we want to uh, analyze the user demographics so uh, for that uh, we are using web analytics tools and the examples that you are using nowadays companies are using google analytics which is free mostly people are uh, doing that uh, adobe analytics which is uh, which is a proprietary system of uh, adobe and then uh, matomo which is uh, pivik uh, previously known as pivik then uh, comes the social media analytics where we are actually tracking and analyzing the engagement sentiments trend across various social media platforms and marketers use these uh, tools to measure the impact of their social media efforts identify top performing content and optimize social media strategies now uh, again uh, what kind of uh, you know data we are gathering uh, we are checking the likes shares comments follower growth we are analyzing the audience demographics and sentiments we are checking who are are the influencers what are the trends what are the various uh, brand mentions examples sprout uh, social hootsuit buffer analytics these are majorly companies who are helping us in collecting the social media analytics predictive analytics platforms so uh, now this is uh, one uh, you know step ahead here we are uh, using advanced algorithm machine learning techniques to analyze the historical pattern and forecasting the future outcomes now marketers are using these predictive analytics to anticipate the customer behavior segment their audience more effectively and personalize marketing campaign now how, what are the features analyzing the historical data past data we are actually to find out some kind of a patterns or trend and uh, now uh, based on that we can predict the customer lifetime value we can check the churn rates we can find out their purchasing behavior and also we can optimize the marketing campaign and resource allocation the companies which are using so ibm watson analytic rapid miner ss predictive analytics these are the various platform by which you can actually utilize these uh, kind of uh, you know algorithms to find out or to find out the insights and find out the future patterns then comes your marketing automation so what automation will going to do it will going to streamline or automate the repetitive or redundant uh, marketing task or the workflow and it also help the marketer to nurture the leads personalize any kind of communication and track the campaign performance more effectively fine so here you can uh, see what are the features as i said that ma email marketing automation if you want to do you want to uh, do the lead nurturing or drip uh, campaigns or you want to do behavioral track tracking or dynamic content personalization you want to integrate with the crm system for seamless data synchronization so who all uh, are providing such kind of platform marketo hubspot marketing hub pardot uh, by which is provided by the salesforce these are marketing automation platforms who are helping you in uh, doing these uh, or in automating these repetitive tasks now uh, this is a very uh, you know uh, comprehensive uh, slide but uh, this is very useful one which uh, where you i want that you should see where what are the 
techniques so till now we were talking about a lot of tools which are available for marketing analytics this slide is actually related to the techniques so uh, you see that uh, how many techniques are there descriptive analytics predictive analytics customer segmentation ab testing sentiment analysis roi 